Yo, what is up everybody? Brandon SF101 here. Today, I am so hyped to be showing you this glitch. Now, this is probably one of the easiest duplication glitches I have ever seen on GTA. And it is from the Los Santos Tuners update. Now, for those of you who don't know, with the new update that's dropped, they have added in the new auto shops. Now, these are essentially garages where you can obviously customize your cars, do mini heists in them, and also you get other little side jobs as well that you can do as well. Now, if you don't have one already, you will need an auto shop to be able to do this duplication glitch. Now, what I suggest you do is just get the cheapest one. This is the one I've got on the video, and obviously I'm gonna be showing you now. So I believe it would work for all of them, but if I was you, I'd just get the cheapest one. You don't need to spend loads of money on it. I believe it's about 1.6 mil to start off with the cheapest one. So guys, I just recommend buying that one. It's nice and easy. You don't have to get anything extra with it. You literally just buy the garage as it is. Once you bought the garage, you can then start to do the duplication glitch, which I'm just about to show you now. I'm doing this on PlayStation 4, but as far as I'm aware, this will work on every single console. FYI, if you want to do it, I'd recommend doing it now and doing it quite a few times before it does get patched because I guarantee you in the not too distant future, Rockstar are probably going to patch this because it's quite an easy duplication glitch to do. Now, one thing I will recommend before you guys start this, you will want to have a free car that you are willing to lose and that you'll be able to get back again. For example, the Elegy, that is probably the best car you can use for this as you will be losing it as this is going to be the duplication car. On top of this, you'll want to have a car that you can sell for a lot of money as well. So for example, a lot of people use the Issys because they are worth like over 2 million for each one that you sell. So they are probably one of the best cars to get. So yes, I know they're expensive to buy at first, but it will be an investment and you'll make this money back after selling your first or second car. So I 100% recommend buying an Issy if you haven't got one already. So first things first, what you want to do when you go over to your garage, just make sure you go in there, do all the cutscenes, get all that boring stuff out the way once you guys have done the cutscenes obviously you'll be able to start using the garage as normal okay so when you want to start doing the glitch it is very very simple so you can have your cars in any garage it doesn't matter where they are when you start you can put them in your tuners garage if you want to obviously the one you've just bought you can put them in there if you want to it doesn't really matter you can have them in a different garage they can be from any location as long as they are obviously stored in a garage when you do this glitch now first things first what you want to do is whip up your phone call your mechanic and get him to deliver the main car that you're gonna be duplicating. So for example, it could be the Issy. Now, once your car spawns in, all you want to do is obviously jump in your car, drive it into the garage, nice and easy. Once you're in your garage, all you then want to do is run back outside, don't do anything else, just make sure you jump out of your car, run straight back outside. Once you guys are outside, all you want to do now is call your mechanic for the second time, but this time you want him to deliver your free elegy that you've obviously got, as this is the car we will obviously be using for the duplication. Once your elegy has spawned in, all you then want to do is jump in your elegy, do exactly the same thing as we've done with the first car, just drive it into your garage like normal. Now, once you've loaded into your garage, this is the stage that is important. This is the stage that is different to last time. So what you want to do is when you jumped out of your vehicle, just run straight back outside on foot. Don't do anything else. Just head straight back outside. Once you guys are outside, all you want to do is literally turn around, head back straight into your garage, and then you can continue with the duplication glitch exactly how you've done it before. One big thing I will mention to you guys as well, when it comes to selling the vehicles, if you have not got custom plates, then only sell one vehicle per day. Otherwise, you do have a much higher chance of Rockstar seeing that obviously you're selling these vehicles and you'll get reset or banned. One other thing that I saw a lot of you guys asking me in my previous video as well, is that a lot of your cars only sell for a small amount of money. Now, the reason is for this is that you're only selling your cars for the worth of their attachments and upgrades you've put on them. Now, before you jump into your main car, one huge tip is make sure you have your spawn location set as last location. Otherwise, you're going to spawn miles away and it's going to take you a lot longer to do the duplication glitch. So yeah, make sure you have that set as last location. Jump into the first vehicle that you want to duplicate, obviously the main vehicle that you spawned in at first. Then what you want to do is modify the vehicle. So obviously take it into your garage to be able to modify it. Once you guys have got your car into the garage to modify it, you then want to go into license place and select a new license plate. Now, I just like to use one of the top three because it's just the easiest to click on and they are normally the cheapest as well. As soon as you guys have selected a new license plate, you want to stay on this screen, you want to hit your start button and you want to find a new session straight away. 
when you guys have spawned in, you should see your outside and you should see obviously your personal vehicle on the mini map. Now, this will be the duplicated car. So what you want to do is just jump in your car. I like to drive it back into my garage just to make sure it's the duplicated car before I obviously customize it and sell it. So just drive it back into your garage. Now, when you're in your garage, you can see here that obviously this is the duplicated car. Now, what you want to do is take your duplicated car and modify it. Once you guys are in the workshop, there's two things that are very important that you change. So again, you want to change your license plate. Make sure you select a different license plate. And another thing is make sure you change your primary color on the car. At this point, you can drive your car outside. Once you guys get outside, you can then obviously drive it to a Los Santos custom shop and you will be able to go in there and sell your vehicle straight away. Okay, so we just drove the vehicle in. I'm just gonna repair it for the sake of it. Um, I'm gonna find where it says obviously sell vehicle. Click on sell, click sell vehicle. It will take a second to obviously load and then it will kick you out of the customs. Now what you can do once you guys have sold the vehicle, you can just call your mechanic. When you guys are spawning your vehicle again, all you wanna do is do that same process over and over again. So drive your car back into your garage, get another free elegy and repeat the process and you'll be able to dupe as many cars as you guys want. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more tips, tricks and glitches like this. Also on your way out, feel free to hit the like button as well and I will catch you guys in the next video.